Alright, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Konosuba Fantastic Days video. Now today I'm doing a guide on the brand new troll event that's currently going on. If we had it to quest, it's going to be this event in the bottom right, the one that goes away in seven days, and it's this troll boss battle event. And obviously everyone should be doing this because of course you do get the free swimsuit character. Um, you also do have the exchange shop here, which you're able to upgrade uh, your free character as well as buy some really good scrolls. Um, you also have platinum ores in here. Um, you have the legendary chalices, which I think are really worth it as well as... Um, you have Eris in here, you have the Axis and well as Eris medals. So there's a lot of stuff in here that you can actually use from playing this event. Uh, so I highly suggest you playing this event. So that's why I'm going to be making a guide on it, because I still have a lot of people asking me questions about this troll attack event. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump straight into the boss battle. Um, so as you can see, I've currently beat all the way up until Extreme 1 difficulty, because right now Extreme 2 is just kind of like way too out of reach for me. Um, so I'm basically going to be telling you guys the proper strategy to take down this boss. Uh, so obviously, as you can see, this team that I have currently is very powerful. Um, so keep in mind that you guys might have not have the exact same team that I do, um, but you guys could get close in terms of power uh, to what I am doing as long as you guys' levels are the same uh, and you have some of the few same characters. Like, for example, Megumi, I think, is a pretty good requirement for here because of the fire advantage that the red has. Um, Erica is also very good here because of her type advantage. Uh, so honestly... The things you're going to be wanting to bring in here, uh, as you can see, they're equipped on pretty much every single one of my characters, and that is going to be the wind earrings. Um, basically, these the gold versions, the silver versions, whatever, which ones you can get your hand on, these ones will keep you alive because this boss is going to be a wind boss. Uh, so these are super, super important for making sure that you're able to do enough DPS before dying uh, so that you're able to get a ton of damage in so you're able to finish the fight. And so keep in mind that I have beat this multiple times, but I've also lost... Um, a few times. So I'm actually going to go ahead and manual this. Usually I like to leave stuff on auto, uh, but for this one I'm going to manual because I feel like it is very important. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get the buff in with our um, Melissa there to give herself a buff to all of her attacks. I'm going to be saving that super all attack for the end. Uh, so now she's going to have a super buffed up agility right there, which means she's going to be attacking a lot. Uh, Megamine is going to be doing a ton of damage. I'm actually going to use her all attack here, the Bright Smash, and get some extra damage in. Um, currently, right now, he's still at 80% HP or so, but he has still yet to launch out his big attack. Um, obviously, we want him to get out that attack as soon as possible. Um, obviously, the more damage we take now... Uh, well, that's not good. I kind of wanted her to not get hit. Um, that's alright. I wanted her to target my Melissa. Uh, you want to try to keep your Megamine up for as long as you can, because here, here comes his um, big attack there. Uh, so as you can see, it does do quite a bit amount of damage. Uh, so you want to keep your Megamine alive for as long as possible, uh, so you're able to do special stuff with her. Um, hopefully we can get a blind here from Melissa. Uh, right now he's under half health, and we still have yet to launch any of our ultimates yet. Uh, so keep in mind, you do want to try to get your ultimates up as quickly as you can. Uh, so here goes the Fire Potion from Megamine. Uh, okay, no crit there. If we did crit, we would have did a ton of damage. Uh, but we do end up getting Melissa's Midnight Edge in there, uh, which is going to be a nice defensive debuff ability. Hopefully, she targets he targets Melissa. Ooh, it's an AoE. Okay, but we do end up living, which is honestly pretty good. Um, so Megamine now does have her Explosion ready to go. Uh, so now all we have to do is pretty much wait. Uh, hopefully, he does not attack Megamine. Okay, well, you know what? That is fine. I cannot complain. Um, so now I'm just going to wait. So now I'm going to pop this ability here, and I'm going to pop the Megamine Explosion. It's going to do a ton of damage. Bam, and now we win. Megamine, obviously, is going to be your ace in the hole here for this event, uh, just because of that type advantage and all that stuff. Uh, I feel like it's super important, but pretty much if you don't kill him with that Mega Man explosion, you can just go to auto and then three times speed, and then you should be able to beat it from there. Uh, but as you can see, pretty good rewards. I mean, 34,000 Eris uh, for um, Airy Ar just for completing the event, honestly, is pretty solid. Of course, you get the red emblems as well to beat it. Uh, so we're going to actually head into the exchange shop here, and I'm going to be showing you guys what I usually like to buy with these metals. Uh, so if you head into the exchange shop, obviously these tornado spears, anti-haze things, whatever, are obviously super important. Um, I personally picked up the legendary chalices first because I wanted to get my characters up to a higher level as ASAP. Uh, so honestly, I think these are a good priority for you to get. 
and obviously the Eris is very good. Um, Axis metals as well as the uh, Eris metals obviously are very good as well. So it's honestly all up to you uh, if you what do you want to buy from here. Uh, you also have the power potions as well, which honestly are a pretty solid option. I think I'm actually going to pick up five of these um, with our tickets there. There we go. Now we have five extra power potions. Uh, and we're going to jump back into the boss battle one more time uh, just to show you guys uh, that you also can get legendary chalices from this as well as tornado spears and the anti-haze platinum amulet. And we're going to do one more run so that we can go and grab the uh, diamond scrolls to put uh, just so we can have them. So once again, I'm going to be running this in full manual mode. Now, I don't think you have to do this every time, but this is what I personally like to recommend doing because um, I honestly, I feel like this is the easiest way to maximize your damage. Uh, this is also what I recommend doing in PvP is running it super, super slow so people to time uh, your abilities very, very quickly and very nicely uh, so that you're all in uniform so you can have the most of them all into the Mega Mean Alt. Um, I think that's very, very important to have. Um, so let's just keep on going with our attacks. And uh, so right now he's below about 75% of his health before he gets his second attack in. Uh, so now we should be able to do some pretty good damage to him. Um, once again, we should get him close to 50% HP um, before he launches up. Okay, so there we go. So there he goes, his first ultimate. Obviously, that is a lot of damage onto us, which is not super good. That's not exactly what we wanted. Um, but that is completely okay. So now we can do this. Uh, Mega Man's going to get him down to about half. And the Darkest Ult's going to put him below half health there. Uh, we did not get the blind in, which does suck. But he did do the single target, which is honestly what we really, really wanted there. Uh, so now Melissa should be able to get, uh, since she has that agility buff, will be able to actually spam her Midnight Edge before he attacks, which obviously is going to be super, super good. Uh, so, oh, we did miss. That's honestly really bad. <sighs> Ooh, that's not great. So we did um, end up missing with our Melissa, um, and that could be a very, very, very bad thing for us here. Uh, so let's see what happens. Um, hopefully he does not target our Melissa. Okay, he, well, he did, but that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the Chaos Edge. We're going to get the Mega Mean alt in there. So now Mega Mean has her ultimate. She's ready to go. Um, hopefully we can blind him. Can we blind him at least? Okay, we didn't. We missed with that. Um, that is fine. Uh, so, okay, so we're going to lose our uh, Melissa there, but I think we're pretty much good to go. I think we pretty much won this one, because um, now we can just go ahead and press uh, this button right here. I'm actually going to go ahead and try to bind him. If we can bind him here. Okay, no bind. That's uh, A-OK, -okay, because now we can just swap and explosion. Goodbye. <laughs> Megamine is just so fun to use, man. I love a Megamine, dude. Uh, so honestly, Megamine right here for this event is going to be your ace in the hole. Uh, Megamine, I think, is easily the most impressive character that you want to have her. It's just prioritizing trying to get her ultimate uh, right where you can get good defensive uh, debuffs onto him, as well as attack buffs up from her own skills. Uh, so once again, we're going to head into the exchange shop, and let's go ahead and buy one of the Tornado Spears, and then one of the Anti-Haze Platinum Amulets. Uh, there we go, now we've bought two of the Diamond ones. Uh, that's pretty much all you really need to know for this boss battle. Um, keep in mind that this does go away in seven days, and you also do get tons of skip tickets just from doing the main quest. Uh, so if you're wondering how you do get tickets, uh, you get the boss tickets from literally completing main quest. Uh, so keep in mind, if as you're doing main quest and as you're progressing through the story, um, as you get towards chapter seven and all that stuff, uh, once you beat all the story, you'll be having a ton and ton of tickets uh, to use in the boss battle. So don't worry about if your tickets are low now, uh, just go complete the story and you'll be able to have a ton of them. Uh, but make sure you guys are doing this, as I said, because it does go away in seven days. And that's pretty much going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.